If rain or bad weather is expected, or even already there, then getting a tarp up as a cooking and communal area really makes life a lot more pleasant. Here on the blood vein we're into our second day of poor weather and getting a fire going to cook and to cheer ourselves up was really important. Here I'm using the expedition tarp from a grill. It's very versatile, lots of attachment points, robust and in fact I can even use it as an improvised sail on the lake. So I've got a suitable area for the fire, um, low branch, I missed the first one, thought I'd put that in just to make you feel better. There you go, over on the second one, using the throw bag from, the, from my canoe. Just a bit of jigging to get it down. Um, people following with interest. Uh, two shots for this one. I've got it on first shot on some occasions and I've given up after four or five shots and passed it to Paul on the others. There is a reality to all of this. But the bag's down and now we're pretty ready to set up. So going for a central hang point here, the, the total weight of the bag's 1.2 kilograms, so not a lot to take along with you. It's 3 metres by 3 metres. They do a bigger one, but to be honest, I, I like the 3x3. Three three. Central hanging point, um, very robust. I've never had a problem with these over all my years of using them. I thought the colour coding was actually a bit fussy when I first used it. But actually it makes life easy. You can spot the corners real quick. They're all red. You can say to somebody, clip all the green ones, attach here. The hang point isn't directly above the tarp. But that doesn't make any difference. We can hold it out at an angle. And in fact, two, two other uh, setups we used on this trip, we actually had to run a, a rope from one tree to another. So we could actually slide the tarp to where we wanted it. Get the old tension going, make sure everything's high enough, and there we've got the tarp in place. Put in a wooden tripod into place, the binding at the top is part of the chain that we'll hang the pots from. There we go. Check it's the right height. Because it's doubled, we can actually adjust it. So there you go. A little adjustment. And now that's ready for when the fire's going. Don't want to waste that, so as soon as you get the, the, some real flames in it, there we go. Oh, bit of extra. Get that kettle on. Don't waste the heat. Ah, long last. Here, the same tarp being set up as a windbreak. The only problem with that is that the wind comes over the top of the tarp and then funnels back under it as an eddy and so takes the smoke into there. So it's a bit of a compromise. And again, that versatility using the same tarp as a sailing rig here on Thin Tagged in North Wales. Ray, it's Rob's fault. He wanted a day of rain. He's loving it. <laughs> Is that a big one? Yeah! <laughs> Look at that, beautiful. Now be careful to the marshmallow's hot. Whoa, it's my like it's hot, Jay! Tell me what it's like, Maya. Ow. <laughs> Hi folks, I hope you found that interesting and helpful. And what you can do is you can press like, you can subscribe, and comments are always welcome. If you'd like to support the channel, there is a link in the description below for buymeacoffee.com. My own book, Canoeing, is available directly from myself, but there are links in the description below for easy buys in North America or the rest of Europe. Thank you for watching, and thank you for the support.